and I'm only about halfway up. Wow. Well, I don't mind saying that I slid down that on the seat of my pants. And I'm not ashamed of it at all. <clears throat> that was quite something. Oh, here we go. Do we have another? No, it looks like I can walk this one. Camera doesn't have much battery left because I forgot to charge it last night. So when it conks out, I'll start using my phone. This one's so much easier to carry. Pretty neat cliff wall, huh? I screwed around it that way. So it didn't go all the way around the butte. I had to go down and climb almost straight up. The trails way down there there's about a hundred and fifty foot drop off there if we had to climb up this little gully here and come around to this little trail the top of the butte is only that high now so I thought we were going to go around that way but no so now pardon the jerkiness of the camera but it's a pretty precarious spot I'm in I gotta go on this trail and probably up around there so stay tuned. Isn't that gorgeous though? Look at that. There's a whole nother valley that stretches out this way. Goes all the way down there. Just beautiful. I bet you a sunset over those mountains would be awesome. Yeah, I was right. See right down there? There's the trail I came in on. So this is how high I had to climb almost straight up. And then there's the trail here. Look at that, right along the edge, all the way through there. I guess I go around the other side. Okay, I'm at the very top. You can see Vilcabamba at my feet. And there's the city proper. If you can see that trail right there, that's how I came along that ridge top and that's where I had to scoot down because it was so steep doesn't look that steep now and if I edge up to the edge here you can see I came around these cliffs down here at the base of them all the way around and then we climbed probably damn close to about an 80 degree cliff up the side over here to this trail right here and I backtracked here to come to the top of this knob I'll be going down this trail as you see it goes all the way along the ridge line here off into the distance I'm not sure where it goes from there but we'll find out so I'll see you in a minute. Yeah, I shouldn't be carrying this camera, but I just had to give you a bird's eye view of what it was like to walk along this ridge with probably four or five hundred foot drop-offs on both sides. If things get too slippery, I'll put it up. But it is awesome. You feel like you're on top of the world. I 
Okay, if this is too steep, then I'm putting it up. Yeah, you can see the trail going on off in the distance. I'll turn you back on here in a little bit. In a break, I wanted to show you the route here. See that over there? There's a trail right along the top of that ridge coming down right along here into here and up to here. So you can see <laughs> Oh, this thing is a lot scarier than the last hike I took. But then again, you're rewarded a lot more. I just have awesome vistas on both sides. Of course, I still have to yet go up there. Uh, so I'm taking a break. I've just got to show you this. I've got to go down on my butt, scoot down on my butt. Look at the drop-offs on both sides. <sighs> Hopefully this is the last bad... <sighs> well, that's where I came from. <sighs> if you see my hand quivering just a little bit, it's because I'm dead tired and I'm full of adrenaline. <sighs> This trail snakes along the very edge of the ridge all along this range with drop-offs just inches on either side of your feet. It is the toughest damn climb, but it, look at this. This is what you get when you risk your ass like this. In my book, it's worth it. <laughs> 